In this video, we're going to make a complete home automation project using which you'll be able to control up to 4 AC appliances and also able to control the speed of the fan using Arduino IoT Cloud, Alexa Smart Speaker and also with the help of manual switches and manual fan regulator that works with and without internet as well. So this is kind of a complete home automation project which is ready to be installed at your home or offices. So let's start with this video and learn how to make this project. Quickly starting with the hardware part of the project then, to make this project you'll need these all components whose list and links are mentioned in the article whose link you can find in the description of this video. Also I have mentioned the high quality connection diagram for all the components in the same article so just refer it for your reference. Now as usual due to a lot of connection I just designed my own custom PCB for this project and gave its order directly to GLC PCB. Now even you can try ordering your own custom PCBs from GLC PCB by just uploading the Gerber file of the PCB project, select the number of PCBs and color masking, after that just place your order. Now if you select the fastest delivery option, you may get the PCBs delivered at your doorstep within a week. So try ordering your own custom PCBs to make your projects look neat, handy and more professional. Now after getting the PCB, we just shouldered all the components on it. Now for the fan speed control, we remove all the components from the commercial fan regulator and we have used the rotary switch inside it and soldered the wire on it. Now if you want to learn how this capacitive dimming method works and how to make your own fan dimmer using Arduino or ESP board, well you can watch out this video's link is in the i button as well as the description where I have gone into detail about how a capacitive fan dimmer works and how you can make it on your own. With this, we have successfully completed the hardware part of the project. Now let's just move ahead and start configuring the IoT dashboard. Now for this project, I'm using this Arduino IoT Cloud dashboard. It's just because in the Arduino IoT Cloud dashboard, in the free version, they also provide the Alexa integration built in. So you don't need to pay extra for it. You don't need to purchase any plan. Using just the free plan, you can integrate the Alexa with it. And of course, you have the support of this Arduino dashboard in both mobile application and web dashboard. So it's super great. So that's why I used Arduino IT Cloud for this project. Okay. So let's start configuring this uh, dashboard. So first of all, you need to go to the create.arduino.cc website, which will be, you know, uh, redirecting you to this particular web page. After that, you just need to log into your Arduino account. And after that, just click on IoT Cloud. Now I already made a detailed video about uh, how to get started with this IoT Arduino IoT Cloud dashboard using the ESP32 board uh, which was uploaded in the last Sunday whose link you can find in the description. So do watch that video out in, in case you want to understand this thing from very basic level okay. So yeah it says create your first thing so click on create thing. Now here click on add variables. So as I said in this project we have 4 AC appliances and 1 fan speed control so in total we have to create 5 different variables so starting with the first variable which will be named as a relay 1 okay you can name it according to your choice it's just totally up to you variable type will be it's a light so I'll select light here which is a simple light okay a variable is declared here and the permissions will be as it is click on add variable so similarly I will add 3 more variables quickly. Okay, so we have successfully added four variables for four AC appliances. Now we are left with the fan speed control. For that, I'll click on the add button. Here I'll type the name as fan. Now the variable type here will be something different. Let us search for fan if it is available. So no, fan is not available. So this is kind of a, uh, what you can say, missing thing in Arduino IT Cloud. So uh, if any people from Arduino uh, company is watching this video, Try adding this fan as well because a smart home do have a fan as well. So fan is kind of a very basic thing. So do add it <laughs> straight away. Okay. So that's the suggestion from my side. But now what we have to do, like how to add a fan regulator for that, what I'll be doing is I'll be searching for light and here I'll be using the dimmed light. Okay. So dimmed light has an on off switch as well as the dimmer to dim its brightness. Okay. So we can use that dimmer slider for our fan speed control like that will be okay for us. Okay. So I'll select dim light here. Okay. So a dim light variable is also created. I'll click on add variable. So with this, we have successfully added all the variables required for our project. Moving on to the next part, which is adding a device. So for that, click on select device. Now here, uh, in my previous video, I already added this my ESP32 board. So that's why it is showing uh, like uh, displaying this particular thing. But in your case, it may be not the same image. Uh, what you have to do is you just need to click on set up a new device. And here you have an option. Is it an Arduino device or a third party device? In my case, I'm using the ESP32 board. So I'll select a third party device. Select ESP32, select the model as uh, DevKit V1 and click on continue. 
I'll name this device as all in one. Okay, no space allowed. So all underscore in underscore one. It's an all in one home automation project. That's why click on next. So here it will be providing the device ID and the secret key. You just need to click on download the PDF, which will automatically download and save this particular credential onto your computer, which will be required uh, later on. Okay. So I click on download the PDF. Okay. So after downloading the PDF, just click on, I saved my device ID and secret key and click on continue. So with this way successfully added our ESP32 device onto Arduino IoT Cloud. Now we are left with the last thing, which is adding the network credentials for that. Click on configure. Now provide the SID name and password of your Wi-Fi router because this project do require internet connectivity. Okay, after that here it is asking for the secret key. Now you can get the secret key from the PDF which you have just downloaded. Okay, so let's open that PDF and here is the secret key of your device. Just click on copy and paste that secret key here. Click on save. With this we have successfully configured uh, the basic part of the Arduino IoT Cloud dashboard. Now we have to add widgets to the dashboard and for that just click on dashboard and here I'll click on build dashboard. So yeah, a new dashboard is created. I'll click on this edit icon to add the widgets. After that, click on add. And here I will add four switches for controlling four AC appliances. So I quickly add it and name it as relay one. And its variable will be relay one. Click on link variable. That's it. Similarly, I'll do the same step for other three switches. Okay, so we have successfully added four switches. Now we are left with adding the fan speed control. For that, click on add. And here we have to add this dimmed light. Remember, we added a dim light variable for that. Uh, we have to use this widget only. After that, here I will change the name to fan speed, we can say, or other fan is okay. Okay, click on link variable. And here we'll select fan this time. Click on link variable. And that's it. We have successfully done this. Okay, we can rearrange this thing. I'll put it here. Okay, so we have successfully configured the dashboard and the good news is that you have to create the dashboard for only once, like only in the web dashboard and inside the mobile application it will automatically reflect it. Okay, so no need to recreate this dashboard again. Okay, so now we are left with the last part which is the coding of this project and for that you need to go to things, go inside this particular thing and here you have to go inside the sketch. Okay, so uh, if you don't know Arduino IoT Cloud provides a web uh, code editor you can say so you can write the code here, add the code here and upload the code from here only no need to have the Arduino ID. Okay, so yeah, uh, now we have to create the code. Now I have already uh, created the code for this particular project, which is uh, uh, this so I'll simply copy it. Don't worry, I'll explain the important stuffs here. Okay, so I'll copy it and I will simply paste everything here okay. seems uh, fine okay so now let me just explain this code to you so first of all all the variables are auto automatically declared by this Arduino IoT cloud so these are the global variables which will be also available inside the Alexa smart speaker okay after that here all are the pin definitions like for the fan regulator knob for the switches like to control it manually and here are pins for the relay on which the relays are attached and here are the relays for controlling the fan speed okay so necessary pin declaration is here after that necessary a uh, variable declaration which will be used to build the logic for this project after that basic input output is declared pretty simple straight after that inside the loop we have only two functions arduino cloud.update that means oh, uh, this function will be you know handling all the data transfer happening between the arduino iot cloud and the ESP board and I have created one more function called as manual control which will be responsible for all the uh, all the functions happening manually with the manual switches and manual fan regulator okay so uh, in case anything coming from the Alexa side or Arduino side this functions will be called for example if we are turning on and off the switch one of the relay one this function will be called and it will be directly turning it on and off according to the data received okay Similarly, uh, there is one more function called as on fan change. That means if there is anything changing from the fan speed control knob from the Arduino IoT Cloud side or the Alexa side, this function will be called. And here, what we are doing, this is something kind of a tricky. You can say, see, first of all, uh, the the light dimming variable has the data or the range from zero to hundred percent. Okay, so it's a percentage value starting from zero up to hundred, but in our what we can say fan speed control we have only like four different states either it will be zero that means it will off either speed one in speed two speed three speed four i think a total five variables are there okay so now what we have to do we have to map this five variables within the range of zero to hundred and for mapping those value i have used this function called as map which will map the range from zero to hundred 
to zero to four. Okay, so this is kind of a mandatory to control the speed of the fan because this this fan speed control is not a smooth control; it's a step control. You can say okay. So for that, I have to do that. So I have mapped this thing, and according to the uh, mapped value, I'm calling the speed function. If the map value is zero, then I will call speed zero, which will turning the fan off. If one, then speed one, two, and so on okay so this is the fan speed control part and this is all happening over internet now what happens when we are turning it on and off manually well this function is responsible for all the manual uh, controls uh, actions that we are performing okay this is uh, completely similar that we have seen inside the internet part okay but there are a couple of more uh, what you can say variables used to build that logic okay so that's that's the simple thing once you go through this code you'll definitely understand how this a uh, manual task or manual switches are working okay so yeah that was all about the logic which i built for this code so now what i'll do is i quickly click on the verify button to see if there is any error or not uh oh there is one error let us go through this error mm -mm. what is this error i think this fan f should be capital probably let us compile it again okay so it says done compiling and it doesn't seems to have any error okay so now we have to upload this code but before uploading this code uh if you watch my previous video you know you have to install this create agent so if you don't have the create agent just click on learn more button and uh, click here to download this arduino create agent and after downloading you just need to enable that arduino create agent uh, on your computer okay so here is the arduino create agent which is already running into my computer i will quickly connect my esp32 board and it should show me the board here so after that, there is one more thing inside this Arduino Arduino Cloud, which is open full editor that will be giving you way more options inside this web editor, like adding the libraries and uh, selecting different, different boards and stuff like that. Okay, so it's better to go on to this editor, like full editor to uh, write the code and edit the code. Okay, so yeah, here is the full editor. As you can see, a complete uh, web application is appeared here. Now here I already connected my ESP32 board. I will select the board if it is up. Okay, here is the board. I'll select it and i will straight away hit the upload button okay so now we have to wait a couple of seconds to let this arduino cloud upload the code onto our esp32 board and in the meantime let me just show you the uh, arduino web uh, sorry mobile application is it completely configured or not let me show you so i will start the screen recording on the phone and i'll open the application called as a uh, remote iot remote okay so if you don't have this application i'll attach the link for this as well in the description okay so here are uh, two dashboards are created uh, I, out of them one will be our okay so here is our uh, mobile application and uh, the dashboard is successfully created as you can see all the switches and the fan regulator appeared here okay so yeah it is completely configured and in the meantime our code is also successfully uploaded okay now before inserting this esp3 board onto the all-in-one pcb let us uh, you know configure this or rather integrate this project with the alexa smart speaker as well and for that you have to perform very uh, simple steps okay so first of all you need to open the alexa uh, application on your smartphone Phone. okay now one good news is that it also works if you don't have the alexa smart speaker you just need to have this alexa mobile application okay so after that you need to go to the mode and here go to skills and games here just click on search and search for arduino so here is the arduino skill well i already enabled this skill but in your case you just need to click on enable skill option which will be available here and after that you have to log in uh, to your arduino account to just link both alexa and arduino cloud uh, cloud to together okay so i have already did this so it is not showing me that particular option after doing that what you have to do is you just need to click on this plus icon and click on add devices go below and click on other and just click on discover devices so it will automatically start discovering nearby devices uh, which are connected with the arduino iot platform okay it will take a couple of seconds make sure your phone and the esp boards are onto the same wi-fi network uh, just to add the devices after successfully adding you don't need to have onto the same network it's it will work over internet
Okay, so as you can see, it says Alexa found five devices like four appliances and one fan speed control. So yeah, we have successfully uh, added the, those devices into our Alexa application as well. Okay, so let me just show you. So here is the fan, relay one, relay two, relay three and relay four. So yeah, we have configured all the things like the Arduino dashboard, both web and mobile dashboard, the code and also the Alexa smart speaker. Now, let us insert this ESP32 board onto the all-in-one automation PC project. Let us see this project in action. So let's first start controlling the appliances with the help of the Arduino IoT Cloud dashboard. As you can see, I'm easily able to control the appliances with the help of the Arduino mobile dashboard. And I'm also able to control the speed of the fan using this quite neat looking knob. Perfect. Let us try with the manual switches. Okay, so I'm able to turn on and off the appliances and also I'm able to get the feedback onto the Arduino IoT Cloud dashboard. And if I talk about the fan speed control, then yes, I'm able to control the speed of the fan using this physical knob and also getting its real-time feedback onto the Arduino dashboard. And now the last step is it to control the Alexa smart speaker. Alexa, fan speed 100%. Perfect. So now I'm able to control this office using the mobile application, using the Alexa smart speaker, using the manual switches. And I think this is the perfect home automation project, which is uh, which you should make uh, at your home or office because this doesn't require any paid platform. Like the Syndic Pro is now become paid, IFTTT now become paid. So it's quite difficult to found a platform which provides built-in Alexa integration for free. And this is that particular application which will give you this integration for free. And do click the like button if you like this project. And if you are eager to make this project by yourself as soon as possible. And the good news, as I said in the starting of the video, is that I'm selling this project like it, it is for sale. Like I'm not giving the free PCBs, rather I'm selling this complete project. It's really very simple to get this project delivered at your doorstep. What you have to do is you just need to click, go to this particular page, whose link is in the description. It will take you to this particular web page, which has all the details regarding this project. Now this is configured with the Blink platform because earlier I made the same with the Blink one. So, but you don't need to refer this. You just need to refer this particular tutorial video to make this complete project. After that, just click on this buy now button. And here is the buying page. You just need to click on add to cart. And after that, just click on view cart. Now here, provide the coupon code. Mm, well, the coupon code is in the article. You have to find it out on yourself. But it's there in the article. So just find out the coupon code. Apply that coupon code here. Click on proceed to check out. Add your address, add your payment details, and you will get this delivered at your doorstep ready to be installed you just need to upload the code onto the esp32 board you will also get the esp32 board by the way you just upload the code and you're ready to rock your smart home and that being said i hope you like this video i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you got to learn something new from it if it's so do like comment share this video and now just wait for my next video to explore learn share with me techie sms